Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. Despite the governor removing the state's mask mandate, local health leaders want to make sure people know Austin Travis County's mask rules will remain in place for now. Under the existing rules, businesses and other sites must require individuals to wear a face covering, with some exceptions. Businesses also have to clean and disinfect high-touch items, require at least six feet between large groups, and post face covering and hygiene signage. Health officials stress these measures will slow the spread and reduce the impact of COVID-19 on public health as more and more people get vaccinated. For more information, visit austintexas.gov COVID-19. Austin renters unable to pay rent due to COVID-19 may be eligible for help. The City of Austin's Housing and Planning Department, in partnership with the Housing Authority of the City of Austin, are updating the Relief of Emergency Needs for Tenants program for 2021. The program, also known as RENT, provides up to 15 months of rental assistance to low-income Austin renters at risk of losing their housing. The program can help people pay current, past, and future rent, as well as late fees. To be eligible, renters must live in the Austin full-purpose jurisdiction and earn 80% or less of the median household income. Renters who previously received rent program assistance are still eligible for the 2021 program. They can receive help with rents that are due from April 2020 through December 2021. It is not necessary to be a U.S. citizen or a legal resident to be eligible, and renters are not required to provide immigration status. The rent program will open applications March 15th and continue through the end of December 2021 or until program funds are spent. To learn more, visit austintexas.gov slash rent or call 512-488-1397. The city's purchasing office, along with other city departments and government agencies in Central Texas, will be hosting the 2021 Small Business Contracting Forum virtually on March 24th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Attendees will learn best practices for pursuing business with the city of Austin and other local entities, chat one-on-one -on -one with department representatives, access department resources, including downloadable collateral materials, and network with other small business owners. To register for this free forum, visit the City of Austin Purchasing Office at austintexas.gov purchasing. Local libraries haven't opened up their doors just yet, but as soon as it's safe to do so, the Yarbrough Library will be ready to show off its renovations. Renovations include new lighting and furniture, including a stylish new circulation desk and an updated electrical system. But the main attraction just might be the artwork and mural at the front of the library. Library staff is looking forward to reopening the doors to the community as they enjoy a more modern and spacious library that is rich in cultural heritage. To find out more information about the Yarbrough Library, visit the City of Austin website at austintexas.gov library. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our dedicated webpage, austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. Stay well, Austin.